Hi everyone. Back with another video. I'm hoping I didn't mess up the one before this one because I've about had it. Sorry. I always have to have a soda. Cheers. Anywho, we're back. And we've been missing everyone. This video I'm showing you my journal I'm working on. And also I have books and books. So I'm going to set my timer so I don't keep you forever. And there, waiting for half an hour. This is a journal I started for Father's Day area of time, Papa's Day. And I'm keeping it um, neutral enough where anyone could use the journal. And I'll be sending, a, as you know, I always do a whole bunch of ephemera to go with it. And I started out with this Reader's Digest book. The front and the back were the same. I doctored up the, oh, where did I get these from? I, a book somewhere. It, it's not real. It's from a book. And I just covered the little plates. And it was a letter from 1895, but again, it was in a book. It was not a real letter. This is the real, and I just, that whole blank space really bugged me. And then I came across this sheet, and I just liked it because this is a, a an automatic book plate frame or... or I'm still having trouble with my words, so please excuse me. This is a two signature book. I have done a little fun binding here so that you can take out the signatures, you can move pages around, you can add to it. There's plenty of room for decorating. I have a pocket here with, there's always fun stuff in them, and some wallpaper for across the back to give it some good oomph and I don't know it it is really really neutrally a little lean to Papa's for Papa's day but you really anyone could use this journal this is vintage slash antique uh, trim this is the original front page of the book creative caution tape this is from a plan book, I think adding on to your house, making things, journal page, another one from the, the make your own furniture book, more journal page, little vellum, some sports, this is college from a, a yearbook, and oh look, there's some more of the scribbly paper from the lady and I even put it upside down and I left it that way. I always say perfection is overrated. This is from a math book and it opens to show the team a silly guy playing soccer I believe and then I put some things inside. This is from the oh, Eau Claire. It's got a it's somebody's pay slip. There's a trading card, a little paper. But anyway, I'm not going to show you everything in the pockets because I would love for that to all be a surprise for the new owner. This is a tab from just from the wallpaper. This is an actual vintage photo. I added it in because, you know, there's a family involved. Put some cute little corners on it. And then this is an old vintage, however you would like to put it. I'm not an expert, but it's old. A uh, metal button. And it says... <laughs> oh, I'm going to look it up. H Brothers and something, New York. And I'm going to look the buttons up because they're really pretty fun. I got a monstrous pack of these edge pieces that someone had cut out to use and didn't. So I ended up with them, and you can see how fun I had, how much fun I had. 
maybe a little too much fun, but you can always take things out of this journal. A surprise dad with kind of a party. It's a little sparkly stuff there. This was the end page for a really old book. I have to be grilling, right? Plenty of room for writing. This is German. And for decorating. And as you know, I do tend to do a little more decorating before things head out the door for me. Excuse my squeaky chair. So I, I like to do that when I know who's buying it because then I can customize it a little more. So that is part of why I leave it so naked. I made these one day. I forgot whose video I watched, so I will try to remember and post it. This just cracked me up. I remember driving with my uncle, and it was my dad's sister, and we would go into Chicago and visit them in Oak Park. And they had seven girls, and they were learning to drive. And one day we went, and I think I was probably, back then you could ride the train in from Elgin where we grew up. We would ride the train. Mom and Dad had put us on the train, and my grandma would meet us at the other end, and it was always this huge, wonderful adventure. And I, it's kind of sad that kids today can't do that. I mean, and, and you think about it today, and it's like, holy smokes. But it was amazing. So Uncle Bill is a very tall, wonderful, jolly fellow. And with all those girls in the house, I kind of think he had to be. He was just very mellow and fun. And he was teaching the girls to drive. And one time we went along. And he was always doing the, on the dashboard and breaking with his foot, sometimes with both feet and, and giggling. But it was his nervous giggle, like, oh boy. So this reminded me of him and my adventures, our adventures with them. <laughs> Some cardstock. And I, this was a, this was out of a, um, a thrifted, thrifty paper pack. Yeah, that's it. And then this is a stamp from a piece of uh, fabric. Uh, and then we have a little flip up here. And pretty much going backwards then on the way through here. Dad gave me a new baseball uniform. It has several pieces. A shirt, a pair of pants, a cap, a pair of stockings, and a belt. And these were Bob's sentences that you might need. Pretty cool. More sports. And building. This is the cute little card. Um, I have packs of them on the website now. Those are Whitman cards. They're vintage. Came in a set of a little group of cards. And I had this little snippet of the old... Oh, I don't know what kind of work that is, but this is antique trim. Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. I have a book where it's a riddle book and all the answers are in the back. So I thought this was kind of fun. Sherlock Holmes, journaling space, and this is the second signature. This is from a travel adventure journal, an empty journal. Well, empty, except it has all these cool pages in it. And this guy's fixing a desk, making a lamp out of simple things. It's a nice graph paper. Ledger. This as one of my favorite parts of this. This was in the book. So when I got it from Carol at Crinkled Path, I left it there and she left it. There was one on every page of that book. So this little person, it's the bear jumping on the bed and throwing feathers everywhere. This is fun. I just thought that was so cute. So obviously you could take that off. And there he is, this little butt hiding in the bed. This is paper. It's a little stamping. This is from a tool catalog from way back. 
This is music writing paper. Another end paper from a big old book. And this is the Tiger of the Woods. The great horned owl found in Chicago is a ruthless killer of song and game bird, as well as small, as well as small mammals. But they're beautiful and they belong there. This is a letter from 1963. And a little outside stuff. These are different finishes for wood. Rare and fancy woods in natural color. <laughs> it's the map. Vintage map. This is some really cool braille paper. And Jenny found that for me one time when she was out without me. Gasp. And she called and said, hey, look at this book. It's an encyclopedia. And I thought, oh, yeah, cool. Encyclopedia of Braille paper. That works. When she got it here, it is huge. It's like this big. And it says at the pocket, encyclopedia. Cracked me up. So I made pockets. I have also been playing with little cute fun little cookie things. These I made. So these are not real trading cards. I cut the pictures out of a book and they were the size of a trading card. But, and then of course, a little, little marketing there, a little dunking. I tied these with a, oh, probably a too big piece, but I kind of like it. So you can always, you could change that too if you wanted to. Just restring with something you like better. This beautiful handwriting. It's late 1800s. And you'll flip with the rest of that letter. There's your sheep. Everyone gets a sheep. America's wool, United States. And then, you know, or, sorry, there's some more of that trim. You always go fun places, right? So this is the loop, Looper It's Fun Looper, the Virginia Reel. So what could be more fun than a vintage amusement fair? I can't imagine we, I can't believe we all survived those too, because boy cow. Decorating your room. This is a little dangle that I made. It's a, it's just got a stamp on it. My hands are really shaky, so I do apologize for this. And it says notes on the back. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them, please. That could be for me. What are directions, you say? I do not know. I like lots of tabs lately. I always like having the pages have something on the outside. There's a sticker from a book that I got. More posting or <laughs> stamping. And he looked like he needed to be in this book. He looks like a happy guy. And there would be a lucky dog, right? But this guy on the back, I'm not so sure about. It. I have to fix that. This is a wallpaper sample. And then there is a pocket back here, and I signed it. I forget to do that. And that's that. There will be more, I'm sure. And I do, I've already started the ephemera, effect, ephemera pack that will come with that journal. Oh, excuse me, I needed a drink. So I'm going to do books this time. I have to start, and again, my disclaimer is I've been stacking things up and angry because I could not figure out why my phone would not have volume on it. It does everything else but that. And I had filmed four videos in one day and I was so excited I was going to be ahead for a whole week. Well, then when I went there, Jim loaded them to YouTube and I went to edit or at least watch and see how goofy I looked. No sound at all. So I filmed another one. And well, it started out with one and I didn't did not occur to me that it could be my phone. So I did four more. And then I did more over because it couldn't be the phone. 
the phone was working everywhere else. I could listen to the radio. It just wasn't picking it up on the video. Well, after that, I was not happy. And Jolly was not happy. He couldn't figure it out. So Jim came to the rescue and we're using his phone. So we're back to a little bit of a learning curve. And I'm glad you always put up with me. This book is from my friend Carol at Crinkled Path. And she sent it to me with a couple of books I bought from her at a live sale. Sam Sheep Can't Sleep. And I can't imagine I will ever take this apart. There's a little yellow duck to find on every page. And this is from 2000, looks like. Illustrated by Stephen Cartwright. Sam Sheep cannot sleep in those eyes. That's me. I don't ever sleep. He wakes up the puppy. Look at the mobile. And there's the duck. I'm such a child. It's late. It's dark. I want this room. Look at those curtains. And his hat just cracks me up. I need to see Fat Cat. Fat Cat can sleep for weeks and weeks. It's late. Go to sleep. But Sam can't sleep. So they're going to see Ted in his red bed. Ted was asleep. The pup barked in the dark night and on go the lights. I need to remember this because that is just fun. You gave me a fright. Sorry, but Sam can't sleep. Let's see Big Pig down the street. <laughs> but Sam can't sleep. Can't sleep, said Big Pig. Then do a jig. That will make you sleep, Sam Sheep. So, and then <laughs> Big Pig starts to giggle. What about Sam Sheep? He's asleep in the chair. I hope you enjoy these things as much as I do because there are some darn cute sheep books out in the world. That one I'll be keeping. I also picked up from her from the live sale these recipe books. And I have taken a few pages out of them. And they have obviously um, recipes from, from Scotland and beautiful illustrations. So these will be showing up in my journals in the future. This is from the Cotswolds. We have Cotswold sheep, farmhouse, and Sussex. I liked them. My mom sent me this little cute book. Small packages. Look at that. Who's who? Keep this book in your pocket when you walk around the neighborhood or in the woods this winter. You'll find sketches of twigs and seeds and several tree species. And it just has little hand-drawn examples. A long winter's nap. But thanks to Hazel, I probably want to do a tree journal at some point. And this would be great to add into it field notes. Let's see what the illustrations by the botanicals are by George Knutson. Tree measuring and ornaments, Lu Luann Roberts, written by Maureen Cozy. 1990 for the Wisconsin DNR. No, not another sheep book. This was written by Nancy Shaw, illustrated by Margot Apple. You've probably seen the Sheep in a Jeep books. I had never seen Sheep in a Shop. So this is another great sheep book. Look at them. <laughs> I have sheep that would fit every one of this book's descriptions. Oh my goodness. There's Sheep in a Jeep, Sheep on a Ship. Sheep out to eat and sheep take a hike. I think I need to acquire those. 1991. I think I have sheep in a Jeep. So, basically a birthday's coming. They go shopping. Little raccoon owners there reading the paper on the porch. 
and I tried out everything. It's a little mouse for you, Angela. <laughs> this is my house. They get so naughty. They're just happy, happy, rip, snort, and happy. They dump their bank at Penny's Clank, but there's not enough to buy this stuff. The sheep blink and think, what can they swap to pay the shop? Ta-da! A sheep, the sheep clip wool, three bags full. They trade and the bill is paid. Off they go, hopping home in the warm spring sun for some birthday fun. I just love it. And I know, um, easily amused. These are some books that I found out and about. A packet for corduroy. Jenny and my mom and I went out a few times to try and get me to settle down about shearing time, which I promise I won't talk about again until May. May we have to shear the llamas, alpacas, and the little sheep that thinks he's a llama. Sir Maxwell. And this is from 1978. And I just thought he was adorable. The illustrations are cute. And like I said, some of these books are new to me. I've never really, until recently, maybe the last year since I met Angela and Carol and all of you, I've never really paid attention to kids' books. As Hazel would say, I drink the Kool-Aid. It's in here. Oh, a loose page. Little Quack. Is it Chiquito? Ch Quick. I don't know. By Lauren Thompson. Illustrated by Derek Anderson. Oh, by Cheerios. Just so cute. Look at them all. They're different hair and they're... So, more wonderful illustrations. Be great in a, any kind of a journal, really. This I love. Sweet Dreams and Moonbeams. I got it for the illustrations, but I love the story. 2013. I promise not to read it to you. There's a couple of rhymes and little the little uh that one i need an owl journal sheep it's just a happy little book sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite and if i've shown you any of these i apologize i can't go back on my other videos because i was silly and i deleted them i got mad Temper Tantrum. Jesse Bear, What Will You Wear? by Nancy White at Carlstrom. Illustrations by Bruce Deegan. And just fussy cut, fussy cut. And these are from 1986. Every day he has to figure out what he's going to wear. Hey, lots of cute stuff. I need to go faster because the guys will be forever. Five Little Penguins Slipping on the Ice. Steve Metzger, illustrated by Laura Bryant. And this brings back my sheep thing. Six little sheepies jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama said, stop jumping on the bed. Something like that. That's the rhyme for this book. <laughs> Bet you're glad I did that. Oh, my hands, I'm sorry. Doo dee doo. Five little penguins slipping on the ice. Oh, for Pete's sake, I don't know what year it was from. No more penguins playing on a hill. One slipped off and banged her bill. Too cute. I am turning my timer off, or I'm going to reset it. Because it's going to ring and make a whole lot of noise any minute. So we're at about a half hour. I, I figure you guys know how to speed this up because otherwise we're going to have 52 videos. This is The New Creatures by Mordecai Gersten. I love that name. 
And I bought this at the live sale from Carol at Crinkled Path. It's a pretty cover. Oh, wait, I'm staying in frame. This is from 1991. Herman the Old Sheepdog. Grandpa told the grandkids they had to walk him and that he talked to him and told him a story about how the dogs and cats ruled the world and they made everybody do their bidding and it didn't work out well. I just, I don't know. I drank the Kool-Aid, everyone. This is a reader. Again, I'm sorry if I got this from someone and I'm not remembering. Don't see a date. 1962. And again, we have fussy cutting material. Great graphics. Mr. Green's lucky day. Fish. Maloney Farms. <laughs> cute, cute, cute stuff. You can use all of that. Deep in the Forest by Brenton Turco. I also got this one from Carol at Crinkle Path. And this is where one of the pages in that journal came from. This little one wrote on not on the page, but on a post-it note. Their version of the story. <laughs> it's so cute. So one page is missing out of here already. It's from 1976. Because look at that. You could put that in any journal, really. It's a great size for folding in half. See? This is too hot. I'm not quite sure what that is. And this is too cold. And look at I mean, this is a perfect journal card. This is very slippery, I think it is. This is to race. This is a base. And then this is where the jumping on the with the feathers flying was. Oh, someone, <laughs> someone did something. And he's back home. Up the notes. This book I bought on Facebook Marketplace. And, you know, I haven't ever really watched out for books like this until I met all of you. Thank you. Health Plants of the World. Oh my gosh. Illustrations by Marlena Pischa. English adaptation by MDHJ. And it is from mm, 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 mm. Bound in Italy and printed in Italy. Not seeing a date. But look at that. Oh my goodness. Poppies. Hazel. Angela. So I won't make you go through the whole book, but oh my goodness. Everyone. They're one sided, but the thing is, the description's on the opposite side, so. Be a little confusing if <laughs> someone's following along and wants to know what's what. Poppies and pansies. So it's a beautiful book. If you see it, this is kind of a bolo book. Be on the lookout for it. Because it's beautiful. And I know I'll be using pages from it, but it's going to be difficult. I do have a scanner and a new printer, so maybe I'll scan a few for me to use. We'll see. I'm never going to run out of paper in this place, though. Okay, so I think that is books for now.
and I will let you go and get into the next video. I'm a poet. So thank you again. I hope you're having a great week. The sheep say hi. They're out in the pasture on nice green grass. There's This is Tuesday and the, let's see, it is the, four, does that say 14th? <laughs> I don't know. I never have to know what day it is unless Jim's off work. So I know when the weekends are. I know when Thursday is because it's live sale day and I have to remember to moderate. And that's about it. So, anywho, I will talk to you soon.